Mastering mixed conditionals. Make your English more flexible. Hello, dear learners. In this video, we're going to dig deep into the fascinating world of English grammar, focusing on mixed conditionals. Now, if you've been following our series, you know that we've already discussed first, second, and third conditionals. But today, we'll tackle mixed conditionals, a crucial concept that will give your English a level of nuance and flexibility that truly fluent speakers have. Let's dive in. A mixed conditional sentence is a conditional sentence that blends the second and third conditionals. Here, we usually mix the time references, talking about a condition in the past affecting a present or future situation, or vice versa. A basic structure of mixed conditional looks like this. Past condition plus present result. If plus past perfect, if clause, would plus infinitive, main clause. Present or future condition plus past result. If plus simple present, if clause, would have plus past participle, main clause. Let's go through some examples to illustrate these structures. Example 1. If she had studied harder, she wouldn't be failing now. Here, the past action, had studied, impacts the current situation, is failing. Example 2. If I weren't so afraid of spiders, I would have picked it up. Here, the current condition, am afraid, affects a past action, would have picked. The secret to mastering mixed conditionals is to understand that they allow us to express how a past action impacts the present or how a current condition could have influenced the past. It's all about how the times mix. Let's consider a couple of more examples to clarify this. Example 3. If I had woken up earlier this morning, I wouldn't be late for work. A past action affects a current situation. Example 4. If you didn't have a fear of heights, you would have enjoyed the hot air balloon ride yesterday. A present condition affects a past action. Don't worry if it seems a little complex now. With practice, it'll become more comfortable. And that wraps up our lesson on mixed conditionals. It might take a bit of practice to get the hang of them, but once you do, they're an excellent tool for expressing complex thoughts and situations. Keep practicing, make lots of sentences on your own, and remember, understanding and using mixed conditionals will bring you one step closer to fluency in English. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.